Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Roller Coast Tycoon 2. In this episode, I'm going to show you a cool trick I just uh, discovered, uh, which is how to make a functioning grandstand in your park. Um, so yeah, with functioning, I mean that uh, you have a grandstand that guests will actually use, and they will sit uh, on the right position, facing, uh, well, whatever there is to spectate. It probably becomes more clear if I just show you. So uh, for now I will just uh, start building. Um, I will just make a really simple version uh, here, but uh, you can scale it up uh, however big you uh, you need it. Uh, anyway, so first off we just start with a path uh, upwards. So yeah, let's just uh, assume there's something, there's a ride here for the guests to spectate or a go kart or a I know maybe you're gonna make a stunt show here. Um, whatever you want. So I'll also make a path here. And in between these these two paths, I will make my uh, grandstands. Now, for the first tier, I will just put a path here. And uh, I will just repeat this pattern um, and move up one, uh, one unit every time. I'll just make it one higher, just uh, for the heck of it. Okay, now we have our uh, base paths. Now, um, I will now place some uh, some benches on the paths. Uh, I will just use the stone benches because they're uh, nice and visible. Now, what you can see here is that we have paths now on these uh, bench on these path uh, we have benches now in these paths on both sides of the paths and uh, we only want the guests to be f to be uh, watching in this direction so that means we somehow need to get rid of the benches on this side of the path when I rotate it <laughs> you can see them even more clearly so yeah these are the benches we want to get rid of so in order to do that we take the tile inspector and we um, simply um, yeah, just connect all the edges on this side and not the edges on the other side. Now for these tile, uh, tiles it's already done correctly. I'll also do it here. Then we select uh, this part. Here we also connect all these edges. And we just repeat this for all these uh, tiles here. Something you can also do is just uh, instead of building all these paths first, you can also just make a path piece here where you do it correctly and then just copy it and paste it to all the other uh, tiles around it. But, but yeah, here I just chose to um, build all the paths beforehand. But that also means I have to uh, repeat this process for every path tile that I made. So for example, if you wanted to extend this pattern, you could simply uh, go here and then just keep copying uh, and pasting these path tiles. It's probably a faster way to, uh, to make your grandstands uh, bigger if you need, if you need them. Okay, um, right now our guests cannot use uh, these paths yet. Um, you will probably see it when I uh, allow some more guests into the park. Um, let's go over here. Let's have a large tram. Uh, you, you probably will see uh, some of them go up the, the stairs here. But yeah, they won't be able to reach these uh, paths in between. So for that we'll have to do another tile inspector trick. So we'll take these sloped edges like this and we can simply connect the tile on the side, edge on the, on the side and we do that for all these uh, sloped pieces. And as I do this you will probably notice some guests uh, actually going to the paths in the middle. I speed it up a little bit. It's 
are clear. You can see them uh, use these parts in the middle. And they can actually uh, walk down here as well. It looks a bit silly, it looks like they're falling down. But, uh, but it works. Now, of course, this grandstand doesn't look very nice yet. So for that, uh, we'll use the next trick. And that's using these, uh, sp this splash boat track. Uh, we're not going to make the guests uh, wet, but uh, let's disable clearance checks. And we'll start building a, a track here. We'll delete this first piece. And we'll also b make a, tr a lift hill track there. Actually, I will just uh, copy and paste this track piece a few times. And now um, all that's left to do is to make these paths invisible. And for that, yet again, we will use the tile inspector. So you can simply uh, select the footpath and we'll make it invisible with a corrupt element. And we'll do that for all these uh, paths. Now I will make the guests invisible for a bit because that will make the job easier. So then it's easier to actually select these footpaths. So uh, in Tile Inspector, if you hold control and then click on this path piece, you will immediately select the path uh, piece. Normally, uh, if you don't hold control, you have to select the tile and then select the footpath. But uh, yeah, this is holding control and then clicking the footpath is uh, a little bit faster. Now, um, on the front, you'll probably want to make the ground a little bit lower, just so these uh, front grandstands don't glitch. Okay, now it looks like this. Um, okay, the next thing we'll want to do, um, when you make one of these grandstands, you'll probably want your guests uh, to, to actually use them. Uh, for some reason, they've all decided to leave the park now. Um, so yeah, when you want your guests to actually use your grandstands, uh, I advise you to uh, put some uh, to put a food stall and a drink stall nearby. Because guests uh, who are drinking or eating, they like to uh, use uh, benches. So if I speed it up now a little bit, then. Uh, soon probably all these benches will be populated with guests who are using them to uh, to uh, eat or drink. You can see the the grandstand slowly filling with guests who are using these uh, these uh, grandstands. Now I will make some extra paths uh, just to spread out the guests a bit. Let's make a little roller coaster here. Alright, um, well yeah, all that's really left for you now is to uh, to put a roof on top. Also, um, for these stairs, uh, well, how you make them is also up to you. Of course, uh, as, as they have been done now, they still have railings here to the side. Um, yeah, and the guests now just clip through these railings, so that's probably not uh, what you want. Um, yeah, how you make these stairs is also up to you. You could use uh, River Rapids track or just more of this uh, Splash Boats uh, track to make the stairs. Uh, yeah, that's really uh, up to you how you decorate it. But yeah, I think this is a really cool trick to make these uh, grandstands. You can see all these guests uh, sitting here and they're all facing uh, to the front. Because normally these grandstands are actually done with uh, yeah, with custom scenery, with, uh, with bleachers that have guests on them. But I think it's uh, much more fun to actually use uh, real guests for your uh, for this. All right, uh, I hope this tutorial was useful for you, and uh, I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.